Indianapolis Motor Speedway is probably, bar none, the most historic racing facility in the United States today. Uh, two years ago, the 2013 Hart Pro Series grid ran a 200 kilometer race here, but that is not where the 2015 grid uh, will return to in Indiana. Instead, we're going to a, a track that's even better. We are going to Indiana State Fairgrounds for some dirt track racing failure. Carlin Dumian would actually blow up on the pace lap. Uh, he's not even going to make it to the start finish line to begin the race. This is just the kind of luck that has plagued Velvet Works racing on a bunch of rounds so far this season. Really unfortunate for him. Matt Duncan and Daniel Voyles lead him down here as the 52 gets a great start past the start finish line and into turn one for the first time. Huge cloud of uh, dust from the cars as they uh, entered the track on the pace lap uh, as Shrimp Engrid sweeps into second around the 99, 93 of Annie Thomas looking to get by the 99 and will do so into turn number three as they slide it out just a little bit. Shrimp Engrid taking a look on the 52. He might be able to, he might be able to uh, lead the first lap here. Uh, Shrimp Engrid's going for two wins in a row. It seems a lot of drivers really seem to back up their wins by a great qualifying uh, position as shown by Sean Morrison in uh, at uh, Richmond. 4Y just behind him. Marcus Stroman, Paula Thanos, uh, Matt Duncan and Chris Louvier. 4Y down the back straightaway. The 42 and the 99 knocking doors down the back there. Somehow they get a turn in time and Engrid's going after the lead once again. What a start to this race. Gerald Reddington is stuck on the outside. You can get stuff done on the outside if you can get a nice run off the corner, which appears to be what a lot of drivers are trying. Uh, Zach Riel with a good move on the inside of him, but here he comes uh, on the front straightaway trying to get that position back. The 69 might look between them if he's not careful. But anyways, Gerald Reddington really needs a, a good um, a good finishing position here today to get himself back in uh, in the points race as we close in on the final three rounds after uh, after today. On to lap five in the 102 and the 52 are still side by side. Engritz might be able to complete the pass successfully off the corner. No, the 52 is still there. The 102 is trying to squeeze him up to the wall as best as he can, but it's so far unsuccessful. The 98 of Chris Louvier on the outside of Andy Thomas trying to get something done. Marcus Stroman in the 66 between Tyler Markell and the 98. Uh, Nic uh, Nicholas Samadio and Mike Doan both having some pretty good runs. Uh, some of our um, really big points contenders go coming into this round so far uh, looking pretty good. Jeff Derry in the 91 uh, up alongside both of them in the 41 trying to follow Mike Doan along the top. Brendan Krasta up here as well as Matt Duncan begins to fall back in these opening after these opening few laps. Back on lap number one, Tristan Wilhoy got, got into Pichu London and a miraculous save for the 11 down the front straightaway as they went temporarily five wide to get around Will Hoyt. A great save for the 11. He's got some driver's side door damage, but he should be okay. Prudence Littlejohn trying to make her way forward in 31. The 69 of Alex Wheeler has fallen back a little bit over the past few laps. Ali, uh, Ali Nelson in the nine uh, with a great run on the outside. We'll get by Prudence Littlejohn and Kerry Davis now going after Ilya Bonarenko after Kerry Davis really has a check up in the middle of that corner to get it turned. Daniel Voyles looking to recapture the lead here on lap number 12. That car is hauling butt into turn number one. He gets that back end a little bit out, trim, uh, out of line. Trim Engrit slides wide and that will give the 52 back the lead as the 102 nearly goes all the way out to the wall there. The 66 of Marcus Stroman still in third. Chris Louvier maintaining fourth position with Paula Thanos in fifth. Julian Sanchez in the 58 trying to uh, get up the outside of the 47 and Nicholas Samadio down the front straightaway. Looks like she will do it. Trying to follow Jeffrey Fingai into the corner. Gets it real uh, sideways there. Slideways even. Oh boy. Uh, Brandon Krasta alongside Jeff Derry as they wiggle their way out of the corner. Marcus Stroman has got by Shrimp Engritz for second. Chris Louvier looking for third in the 98. As the 102 of Shrimp Engritz begins to fall back here. Looks like he might have used up his tires a little bit too soon. Or something. Or maybe the 102 is purposely falling back. Uh, waiting for the end of the race to make a final charge to the front. 
Only time will tell, I suppose, for Rusty Bubinski. Currently rounding out the top five as Mike Doan continues having a great run here as a new points leader. Currently sitting in sixth place side by side with Fall of Thanos in the 42. Markel, uh, Thanos, Annie Thomas, and Doan have been having a hell of a battle these last few laps, and only now is it pretty much back down a single file. Still hard fought battles all over this racetrack as we are three wide for the very dead last position of those still out on the race course. Ophelia and Doomy and Kerry Davis and Mark Nutt three wide for 31st out there on the racetrack. Still three wide behind Ryder Smith. Uh, impressive job keeping it together here is Kerry Davis. Looks between the middle of Smith and Mark Nutt and might be able to get the, both of those positions there. Impressive job by him as he travels down the front straightaway to complete I believe I believe they're around halfway through right now. The top three have gapped themselves away from the rest of the field by around a second at this point as Chris Louvier and Marcus Stroman swap positions. That really held them up. They they were right on the 52's tail when they when Louvier got alongside Stroman, but now Louvier has a few car lengths to close up on the 52 if uh, he is to challenge Daniel Voyles for the victory here. Uh, just behind Rusty Bubinski trying to pick up the pace here. Shrimp Angrets still maintaining a top five after a little bit of a battle with Mike Doan. Louvier taking a peek on the 52 for the lead down into turn number one. Really had to check up hard there on the number 98, but he's getting it turned. The 52 with a great run along the outside line and will be able to sweep back in front of the 98. Louvier appears to be uh, perhaps the only driver in the field with a car um, of the performance caliber to challenge the 52 here in this uh, race as the laps begin to wind down. Amin Al Ghul is coming off of turn four when suddenly he blows a tire, ends up in the inside wall in that number 96 car and spins it around that will bring out the first caution of the race. Man, a lot of those guys like Alex Allen just barely avoided the 98 there. On the restart with seven laps to go, Louvier with a fantastic start on the outside there. He's getting up through the gears really smoothly in, in that uh, 98 car looking to tra travel around the outside. He's got a good run through uh, the middle of the corner, but a little bit lacking uh, on the exit. But here comes Marcus Stroman in the 66 with a challenge for the 52. Uh, Louvier still up top trying to get something done. Will be unsuccessful for now. Mike Doan making his way up into the top four, perhaps six to go this time. Daniel Voyles beginning to gap the field as they really battle for position. Uh, a little bit further back. Uh, Marcus Stroman and Chris Louvier were side by side once again. Rusty Babinski has made his way up along the outside. Impressive job by him over the course of the last few laps to pick up some uh, well-deserved pos positions. Nick Pericles also making his way towards the front as the laps wind down. Probably not going to be enough time for him though. He's, there's only around four laps to go at this point and he's got about a second gap to close on Daniel Voiles in order to win this thing. 52 car, the Buick driven by Daniel Voiles across the start finish line to begin the white flag black. Marcus Stroman, a few car lengths back in the 66 machine. Unless he really dives it into turn three, I don't think he's going to have a chance at the victory here. Uh, Daniel Voiles is not a driver a lot of people expected to do well. Even among the rookie class, he was kind of um, underestimated here as he comes off of turn number four he's going to pick up his first career victory here at Indiana State Fairgrounds. Marcus Stroman a close second in the 66 machine solid effort for him probably his best run of the year for sure I can't remember him uh, being on the podium at all so far this season. Chris Louvier third in the number 98 Nick Pericles fourth in the eight the 44 of Rusty Babinski will come across the line in fifth position uh, Annie Thomas in the 93 Sixth, the 72 of Mike Doan. He's the points leader and a very good run for him in uh, this race. Uh, Tyler Markell, eighth. Oh, Daniel Voiles. God damn it. Are you serious? Well, it's not making it to victory lane. That's that, That's for sure. God. How, how did you do that? How, how? You had one job. I don't even... Zach Riel, 9th place in the 33 machine, and Fala Thanos will come across the line 10th in the 42.